Lessons Camp JCC is a very unique day camp for campers with and without disabilities of all ages, all backgrounds. Everybody is welcome to come as they are and to be as they are. If you need additional support to be able to make and keep friends, we're gonna provide that for you. If you need additional support to eat and walk and play and join our theater program or our art program, we're gonna provide that for you. When their children come here, for seven weeks, they are entering into a community that is really an ideal that we're striving for. My name is Sarah Portman Milner. I am the former Director of Camp Youth and Special Needs here at the JCC. I worked at the JCC from 1979 until 2008. All right, Andrew, let's go this way. I think the key forever in making this program work for children and teens and even adults with disabilities is finding people with the right attitude. So many times when people talk about inclusion and you mention it to someone else for their program, they say, oh, we can't do that. Well, yeah, they could. It's they're really saying, we won't do that. The difference for us is we wanted to do it. We wanted to make it work. My name is Tanya Ray, and I am the mother of Viola, who is a camper here at Lessons Camp JCC. Viola is a sweet, affectionate, enthusiastic, energetic, active child. Uh, she's full of hugs and smiles. She is also a child with autism spectrum who is non-speaking or non-verbal. I have never seen this child so happy, but at camp. Most of her year is filled with a lot of demands, and at camp, there are no demands. There's no pushing or coaxing. It's pure joy and fun. And she can be exactly who she is here, and it's such a wonderful thing. As a mother of a camper in the inclusion program and her brother, who's also a camper, it is an enormous, amazing benefit to not pay extra fees to give my daughter the support she needs. If we had to come to camp and pay an extra fee, quite frankly, we would have been only able to send one child. This is a place where families can be together, where siblings of campers with disabilities can see how loved and valued their siblings are. My name is Kiara, and I have two sons who attend the Lessons Camp JCC. Jake is 15 years old, and he's in the inclusion program in Coca Vim. And Noah is nine years old, and he attends KESEF. Jake loves to play basketball, and he loves to swim, and he loves music. He is a wonderful dancer. He can smile no matter what is going on. That's one of the best things about him. Whenever I look at him, he's just smiling. Alex is extraordinary. Um, his ability to connect with Jake, the fact that he really focuses on Jake's strengths, and also he treats Jake just like you would any other person that you come into contact with. Jake has definitely taught me patience. Working with him has taught me to take my time and understand how someone feels so that I can help them best. He's, just, he's amazing. Uh, I'm Mark Miller, this is my wife Amy, and we are Chloe's parents. When she was around two years old, we learned that she had autism, and about a year later, she was diagnosed with a seizure disorder. So when Chloe first went to Camp JCC when she was five, it was really the first time we had seen her, you know, really engage with other kids and have, you know, have typical peers and typical friends. She was here from ages five to 16 every summer, just loved JCC. It was the highlight of her year. So one of the ways we knew Chloe was having a good time is that her counselors would write notes to us because Chloe is nonverbal, so she couldn't tell us about her day. And this is how we found out about her day. And these are just a couple notes. Um, in 2009, which was her first year, 
Chloe made a friend today. Ryan asked me if Chloe spoke sign language, and I said she did sometimes, so he started signing friends to her. And then um, another year, Zoe walked with us to the pool. Everyone was jealous, so now there's a wait list of who will walk with Chloe to swim every day. I can think of three times that she almost died in the hospital. But in the past four years, she's actually been very healthy, probably the most healthy she's been in, the, in four consecutive years. And then in March, she just didn't wake up one day. We had Chloe's funeral on Friday, and on Sunday, just two days later, the JCC had a little event. I don't think it was for us as much as for her counselors. And it was just amazing to see how, how many lives she touched. I'm not aware of anything else like this, where children with disabilities get to just be typical kids in the most possible sense for them during the summer. And it's an experience for the kids who are typically developing to see children with disabilities as true peers, to become more compassionate, I think. It makes everybody a better person. We are building kind, thoughtful, patient humans for the future, and we need more people like that. I hope that Lessons Camp JCC continues to be an inclusive camp and to grow with the definition of inclusion. Having been here for 37 summers, you would think that I've seen it all, nothing new, but every summer, there's a new need. Not only does it take the willingness to do that, but it's always gonna take the funding and it's gonna take more and more funding every year. As we come up on 30 years of, of Dinner of Champions, this funding is critical to our operations. This is critical to hiring counselors. This is critical to the resources on a daily basis to make sure that every child has an incredible summer here. And without these resources, we cannot function as a community. So when we do Dinner of Champions, it is really asking the community on an annual basis to step up and recommit themselves to the absolute critical funds that we need to continue meeting our mission and serving the community in a way that is unparalleled. You cannot find this anywhere else. Sending my child to a place where he's not only accepted, but he's also loved is priceless. We often joke that coming to camp, JCC is like going to Disney World. It is simply the happiest place on earth in Rockville on Montrose Road. <laughs> and really, <laughs> it is.